It's Nikhil here, back with another video on the biggest lessons I've learned from 2015. And uh, I left this video for a while and didn't decide to make one towards the beginning of this year because I needed some time to um, reflect on some of the lessons I've learned and um, not be too quick about it and actually have enough time to reflect and think over of it. But now I've had, you know, almost six months and, you know, um, these are kind of the biggest lessons I've kind of learned and, you know, and I've started to implement these kind of lessons and practices into my life now. And, and the first one was don't waste any time at all. And now this may be, this may seem a bit obvious or kind of intuitive, but then um, when you're actually trying to put it into practice and use your time wisely and kind of use every single day to its fullest, it's not that easy when when you actually think of it because when you actually use your day to your fullest you can actually achieve a lot and it's actually um quite difficult to do i mean it's it's not easy when you're starting off well, now i'm starting off and i'm trying to really use all the time in the day to kind of move move forward and do the things i want to do and then you know also realized last year um during a school holiday it's about a month's time that a month really flew by really, really quickly. And I didn't even notice that my holiday was done in just like a flash, just like that. It just went by so, so quickly. And, you know, now I'm, we're actually, what, in the month of August already. I mean, already beyond half the year. I mean, that the time just flew by so quickly right now. I mean, I didn't even notice it. And that, you know, I'm, I'm still even trying just to like get this practice into this year I mean it's such a such a powerful lesson that everyone needs to really incorporate because really not wasting any time because time is the one thing you can't get back and you know I like I regret not starting a lot of things I regret wasting a lot of, a lot of the time that I have but now you know you can't really always dwell on the past I mean there is time to dwell on the past it's necessary because you need to reflect and see what you've done wrong so you can improve but then you also need to focus on the future and what you can do about it and what you can do to change it and to improve. Yeah, and you know, that's about it for the, the first thing. There's quite a few things I want to go over, so I'm going to split this into multiple videos. So, uh, well, number two is is to not be all over the place. Now, what I really mean by, by this is that you want to focus on one thing specifically that's going on in your life. You, you don't want to focus on too many things at the same time. Now, what I, why you can't focus on too many things is that when you focus on too many things, you kind of get flustered. You can't really make progress in, in some of these things and you don't see any um, significant progress. And then you kind of get bound out by it and it just kills your motivation and... And yeah, also like you, you tend to get flustered a lot, um, much more easily. You get stressed out a lot by um, trying to attempt all these things and you burn out really, really quickly. And you end up also wasting a lot of time as well, which goes back to the first lesson. And you, you, need, to, you need to focus your time on something you really want to achieve at the end of the day. And the kind of stuff uh, I'm focusing on to achieve this year is kind of starting my, I'm not starting my YouTube channel. I've started it, but I really want to get it going, get the ball ro rolling. This holiday, I'm going to try and dedicate a lot of time to the YouTube channel, try post uh, every single day. So, yeah, I mean, because before I was trying to start my YouTube channel, do this, do that, do all sorts of other kind of things, and, and I wasn't really getting anywhere. So I just tried, you know, do one step at a time. I've actually started my my blog. It's only a free Word, WordPress blog, but you know what? That doesn't matter right now. What I'm focusing on right now is creating content. You know, creating more and more content. Get the ball rolling. It doesn't matter if it's a free WordPress site. It's all about you know just starting and getting that ball rolling and still focusing on that one thing. Because I don't want to now go to make some other complicated site. You know, I just wanted to focus on getting the content up there, and then later on I can focus on actually getting you know a proper site with you know proper domain name and hosting and whatever and actually making it look good but right now the content is what matters the most yeah got a little bit of sidetrack there on what i'm actually focusing on but yeah th those are the two most um important lessons i've kind of learned from last year and then in the second part of my video i'll go through some more but these are the kind of the ones i really wanted to go over and
also when I, I find that when I actually make like a YouTube video about it or a, or a blog about it or write about it, I find that it becomes much more easily for me to follow and um, actually practice what I preach because, you know, you kind of say it out loud to yourself and it kind of gets imprinted into your brain and becomes more habitual to you to not waste any time and also... I mean, you have the stuff out on the internet, so your friends are going to be like, what the hell, man, I you just post a video and I, and I check you're wasting time. I mean, because now you have other people keeping you accountable, so it's also a good tip there, just you know, on the side. So, anyways, I'm gonna, I won't keep my videos too long since internet is not so great, so I'll keep my videos kind of short and concise. And then, uh, yeah. So enough about me blabbing on. I'll check you guys in the next video of part two about the biggest lessons I've learned from the last year in 2015. And uh, thanks guys and uh, stop by for the next video.